we give an informal geometric proof for what is called half angle formula for sine and cosine. This is very commonly used trig identities. Now the setup here is a unicircle, of course the radius would be one here, radius. And we have A B the diameter of the circle here, the half circle. And A C B is thus a right triangle. We have attitude C H here, that's the setup. Alright? So from this highlighted triangle here, it has the right triangle by definition. This angle this is theta of two. This interior angle is twice of that, that is theta. So we have sine theta over 2 is going to be CH over AC, and cosine is going to be AH over AC. Okay, so that's just by the definition of sine and cosine. Now, how do we calculate the length of AC? We use Pythagorean theorem, right? So, first, in the smaller triangle here, Okay, this highlighted triangle here. We know that by definition, cosine theta is going to be OH over OC, but the OC is the radius. So we have OH is cosine theta, and then we have CH, right, would be sine theta, but then we're going to use CH squared equal 1 minus cosine squared theta. That could be Pythagorean theorem also, right? So CH squared equal 1 squared minus OH squared. Alright, so go back to the original big triangle here. Now we're going to calculate the Pythagorean theorem here. AC squared is going to be CH squared plus AH squared. We plug in the numbers here. This is going to be 1 plus OH, which is cosine theta here squared, plus CH squared, which is 1 minus cosine squared theta. If you expand it out, cosine squared theta we're going to cancel. So what we get is AC squared is going to be 2 plus 2 cosine theta. That's what we get so far. Let's go back to the original definition of sine theta of 2. Alright, so sine square of that would be CH squared, CH squared over AC squared. But AC squared, we just plug in the value here. It's going to equal this. Is AC square in the denominator, this is uh, numerator is 1 cosine square theta, but of course 1 square minus you know, A square minus B square, right, equal A minus B times A plus B, in other words it's going to be 1 minus cosine theta times 1 plus cosine theta, and this is going to cancel here, 1 plus cosine theta goes away, so you get the desired formula here for half angle sine. How about cosine? Similar fashion, right? But here, directly cancel 1 plus cosine theta here, because AH square, right? AH square is 1 plus OH, which is cosine theta, 1 plus cosine theta square over AC square. Earlier we already calculated that. So you have 1 plus cosine theta cancel. Now we have the half angle cosine formula here. Okay, in summary, that's what we get from this geometric construction. And of course, this is um, a common setup for some other relationship of trig identities. Hope you like the video. Please share and subscribe to the channel.